please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. Franchise Sports again. Or Franchise Sports TV coming back again with another video. Another episode of Tainted Legacies. See, I got some encouragement from my subscribers. So I'm going to continue to keep going on with this. But this needs to be said. I know some people touched on it. I think Players Torch touched on it a couple of months ago, but it needs to be said. And I properly didn't give Carmelo Anthony his flowers after he retired uh, two months ago at the end of the season. But here's the top of the discussion that would shatter the dreams of these freaking LeBron fans. I never thought about it like this until people start talking about it more. But... Now that you think about it and look at the numbers and look at the aura or the situation that Carmelo was in when he was in Denver, when he was drafted in 2003 compared to LeBron's, it's so much different. Totally different. See, the Latars would think that LeBron was absolutely the only one that should have won Rookie of the Year that year. But we got to look at Carmelo and his rookie year. See here, you see here, in his first year, as we all know, Carmelo was drafted third overall in 2003, and one of the most famous NBA drafts of all time. Um, Carmelo, even in his first game, regular season debut, his first game, he beat the San Antonio Spurs. Finals Ch champion San Antonio Spurs, 80 to 72. He finished with 12 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists. But in his sixth career NBA game, he scored 30, becoming the youngest player in NBA history to score 30 points, right? Only Kobe Bryant has done it more one more time than him. Carmelo, in his first year, just to get a gist of it, was an absolute dog. He adapted well in the NBA. And keep in mind, he was playing in Denver, in the West. And you look in the West right quick, compared to the East. See, if you look at the uh, conference. So the Minnesota Timberwolves, which were competitors for a finals matchup. To get to the finals, they was consisted of Kevin Garnett. I think that team was Kevin Garnett, Sam Cassell, Latrell, Sprewell, Lakers. We all know who was on the Lakers that year. Uh, that was actually the Carmelo Gary Payton year that they came on the San Antonio Spurs. Tim Duncan, I think Mono was there already, and Tony Parker. Sacramento Kings were not as they once was, like they was a couple years ago, but Chris Webber, Pedro Stokovic, Hito Turkoglu, Dallas was still formidable with Dirk, and I think Steve Nash was still on there. Memphis had Paul Gasol, which people don't seem to give respect to. Congratulations to Paul Gasol. He's now a Hall of Famer, as well as Dwayne Wade, Dirk, and Tony Parker. All deserving of Hall of Fame. All champions. Um, Houston Rockets. I forgot who was on the Houston Rockets at this time. Let me look it up, because I don't even remember who was on the Houston Rockets in 04. Oh, 03. Oh, yes. Houston Rockets had Steve Nash. Now Bucks head coach Adrian Gravine was nothing. But they had Steve Nash. Uh, Steve Nash. I said Steve Nash. Steve Francis. Um, they had Mark Jackson on that team? Damn. Katina Mobley. That was basically the team. And Yao Ming. Yao Ming. Steve Francis and Katina Mobley, who was actually a decent player. But they ain't going to forget about that. They was the seventh seed. They lost to the Lakers in four or five games. And then the Denver Nuggets, who would lose to the, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, the Denver Nuggets finished that season 43-39. and 39. 
on that team with Carmelo. We ain't gonna forget who was on that team with Carmelo. Uh, Birdman, John Barry, Earl Boykins, Marcus Camby, Andre Miller, Mark Pope, Michael Doliak. I ain't even heard of that name in a minute. Michael Doliak. Uh, and then Lene was on that team. I think he was, I think he was young too. I think he came out the previous year. Compared to who they had the previous year, um, pretty much the same team. Having a little that, they had Jawan Howard, but Jawan Howard is pretty much, I wouldn't say Jawan Howard is out, but, but looking at this team the previous year, the Carmelo took this team. Yes, I said Carmelo took this team and put them in the playoffs. Carmelo that year, but look at the stats. Carmelo that year averaged 21 points a game. He was the, the Carmelo's the leading scorer amongst men. Only as a freshman. Carmelo only played one year at Syracuse. He was averaging 21 points, six rebounds, and two assists. And play all 82 games. His freaking first, his rookie year. A teenager amongst men. What, 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 what was the criteria for the rookie of the year? And at the ninth spot, look at this. At the ninth spot was the Utah Jazz at 42 and 40. That's without Carl Malone. Because Carl Malone jettisoned already. Portland Trailblazers are 41 and 41 in the 10th spot. What the heck? That's pretty tough. And for a rookie to lead a team like that and at least take the Timberwolves five games. Man, what are we talking about? What are we, what are we doing here when it comes to LeBron's legacy? What, what, what is this? What is this? Everybody said, oh, Carmelo had a work. But still, for a rookie to get that. Then again, Carmelo also just came, came fresh over NCAA championship as well. But still. And LeBron finished. These Cleveland, his Cleveland Cavaliers finished 35 and 47. Um... The previous year for both of these teams, let's see, the 2002-2003 season. Uh, let's see here. The Cavs were bottom, 17-65. Oh, my goodness. The Denver Nuggets were also 17-65. and 65. What the hell? I'm sorry for yelling. Well, what the hell? How did LeBron win that damn freaking rookie of the year? They both took bottom the barrel teams and put them higher, but Carmelo had What the heck is going on? Carmelo should have won that damn rookie of the year. Carmelo should have won rookie of the year. Cause I think LeBron averaged 20.9 points. What 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 was the criteria? I'm going crazy thinking about this. Now I never really thought about this like this. Both of their teams were 17 and 65 the previous year they got there. Carmelo took his team into an AC, being the leading scorer. That team before, well, Marcus Camby, LNA, they couldn't do that. I'm going to curse. They couldn't do shit. They couldn't do anything. Oh, my goodness. Now you look at freaking LeBron's team. Carlos Boozer. El Goskis. Jeff McGinnis. Lee Naylin. Ira Nubo. Kevin Ali. Jawan Wagner. Which career should have been popped up, but it just never did. Unfortunate for him. And the East. Everybody say the East wasn't that great during this time. But what the heck is LeBron doing? If you're on an averaging, because I know he's the leading scorer. LeBron was the leading scorer at 20 points. Per, 
Oh my goodness. I'm befuddled right now. I'm completely befuddled. Did LeBron pay? Was LeBron already in his little emperor stage at age 18? Was he already calling shots at age 18 to get that? Not to say, but you look at you look at the records of the Eastern Conference compared to the Western Conference. It's the the the, the, the fourth seed, Miami Heat were 42 and 40. Granted, the Indiana Pacers did win 61 games. Uh, but they didn't do anything because this is the 2003-2004 season, right? The Detroit Pistons were the champions at 54-28. and 28. Oh, my goodness. Um, but anyways, in conclusion, Carmelo and Anthony should have won rookie of the year that year. Actually, Carmelo and Anthony, they was to do it all over again. Detroit should have drafted him because Detroit probably would have had a chance to get to a finals repeatedly for the next couple of years until all those guys decided to get older and retire. That is crazy. That I just figured out. Yeah, Carmelo should have won rookie of the year. What we what are we doing here? But anyway, as a send off to Carmelo in his career. We all know he went to high school at Oak Hill Academy, went to Syracuse for only one year, got a ring at Syracuse, also got finals, uh, final four most outstanding player. He played for the Denver Nuggets, New York Knicks, OKC Thunder, Houston Rockets, Trailblazers, and Lakers. Uh, by the time he got to Houston, they tried to get his ass out of the league. They didn't like him. Tried to get his ass up out of there. But lucky for Dame Litter, he got him to Portland. Uh, he played with his boy, supposedly boy with LeBron, but we don't know how that season ended. He's a 10-time All-Star, two-time NBA second team. Never got a first team. Four-time All-NBA third team. Scoring champion 2013, rookie first team. Uh, Social Justice Champion Award. Part of the 75th anniversary team. Like I say, he's a NCAA champion. MVP as well. Consistent second team All-American. USBWA National Freshman of the Year. Number 15 is retired with Syracuse Orange. Two-time USA Basketball Male Athlete of the Year in 2016. Uh, first team Parade All-American. McDonald's All-American in 2002. Uh, averaged 22.5 points a game. Six rebounds and two assists. 28,000 points. Over 28,000 points. Three-time gold Olympic medal finalist, champion, whatever you want to call it, 2008 Beijing, 12 London, and 2016 Rio de Janeiro. I think he's leading in points when it comes to the USA team as well. Won bronze in 2004, world champion in 2006 bronze, America's championship in 2007, Vegas gold. Yeah. I may not have been the biggest fan of Carmelo. At, at, at earlier on, I used to like LeBron more. But uh, things have changed. Um, I always thought that he can... I just thought that he needed to add more defense. And sometimes shot selection was terrible. And he averaged 2.4 points a game in the Olympics in 2004. And that's crazy. Um, see here. Oh... Anthony Carmelo Anthony is the Olymp in his Olympic career is the first man to win three gold medals, career leading in scoring, rebounding games. Um, played with thirty one. Therefore, becoming the USA most decorated Olympian. Yeah. 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 It's unfortunate that Carmelo is probably be one of those players, one of the best players that never won a ring. Uh, he would have won it at four different levels at the high school. I don't think he won it at the high school level. Did he win it at the high school level? I know his videos are getting a little bit long. 
Uh, sorry for making it too long. I wonder if we want it at the high school level. Let's see here. Ta! He also beat LeBron in high school when St. Vincent St. Mary played Oak Hill. James scored 36 points and Carmelo had 34 and grabbed 11. Leading the Oak Hill to 72 to 66. Ranked third in the country at 32 and 1. Owning what loss was coming in a rematch against Milder Day. Yeah, Carmelo's a winner at, regardless if he didn't win in the NBA level, he's a winner at all levels. He he almost came close to me. If he would have got a ring, it's crazy. If they didn't get sh if he didn't get shut down in his prime by Kobe in 09, he potentially could have been uh, two, high, maybe a high school champion, college champion, uh, NBA champion, and three-time Olympic gold. And yeah, that's crazy. But anyways. That, that's my proper send-off for Carmelo Anthony as he's going into retirement. Give him his flowers. And uh, once again, another tainted legacy moment for LeBron James. He should have never won that Rookie of the Year at all. It should have been given to Carmelo Anthony. What a shame.